Welcome back to another Mr. Iron Bar video. I will be covering two big things today on the account. The first one is our latest stacking project, and we'll finally be exploring the new rat boss, Scurious. I will talk more about Scurious after the stacking progress. This is stacking project number three. Last time I opened 100 of each clue minus masters, and this time I will be doing the inverse, which is 100 master clues. The theme for this project though is definitely quality over quantity, so not as much opening, but definitely much more concentrated and juicier rewards. This is one of the best chances to get a third age as master caskets have access to all tiers of third age, including the tools, the weapons, and juridic. Most of the master clues are in fact made through giving one of each type of clue from easy to elite to Watson. So effectively, 100 masters effort-wise and time-wise is similar to doing literally several hundred times these lesser tier of clues. The biggest stack of masters I've ever done was 50 before this. So this is something I'm very looking forward to opening. Perhaps I can finally check off a very special type of item on my RuneScape bucket list. Keep watching to find out. Let's talk about how I got these 100 master caskets. So this time, I heavily relied on three primary strategies. The first one is passively do PVM goals, which can be broken down into three PVM grinds. The first PVM grind is challenge more chambers to fill the chambers log slot. All of my purples were originally obtained years before the collection log existed, but with all this new gear and changes to chambers, I've been enjoying these raids as they are so much faster and feel fresh. I get easily twice the amount of points per hour at chambers nowadays, so it's much faster to get unique drops. Lately, I've just been focusing on challenge for raids because I found out they're the best points for me versus just doing normal raids, and I also get the challenge mode capes, which is collection log. So you'll definitely see a more comprehensive progress on the challenge mode stuff later on in the future. Second method is that I've been trying to finish the Desert Treasure 2 pets. I already have Leviathan done, and recently I finished Fardorvis with the Swordbird Axe and Zarus Gossel combo. And now I'm currently at Duke. Again, you'll see a more comprehensive video on that. Finally, I've been mixing Slayer in there as there's so many cool log slots and boss pets I can grind through Slayer. Slayer is perfect because it keeps the grind from being too boring as I never stay at one place for too long. Needless to say, these three PVM grinds have gotten me approximately 60 elites which were all turned in to make master clues, which becomes caskets. Anyways, let's move on to the second way in which I got master clues. So the second way was to get them by opening other types of caskets exclusively from my previous stacking projects. So previously I opened 100 easy, medium, hard, and elites, and each of these caskets have a chance to give you masters. Of course, the better the tier, the better the chance. So for example, elites, just opening 5 elite caskets on average will give you 1 master. So opening 100 of each, easy, medium, hard, and elite gave me a total of 30 master clues, which means master caskets. So the previous project definitely helped speed up this very, very slow process on the Iron Man. Vast majority came from the elite clues, of course, with the 1 in 5 as I mentioned. I had to constantly do masters once I started opening the 100 elite caskets. I spent more time doing master clues than honestly opening those 400 caskets. And lastly, the third method was the good old AFK woodcutting, specifically at Redwoods, to get my last 10 or so elite clues and also other clues to make the master clue using Watson. I've been trying to get the beaver pet, and as of making this video, I'm almost at 100 million woodcutting experience which is probably four times dry now. At the very least, I do get the clues from the burst nest, so it is a nice reconciliation. And when it came to making master clues, Redwoods was perfect because I got all types of clues pretty reliably. For a while though, after Forestry first came out, I stopped getting at least from Redwoods, and I was pretty convinced that there was some glitch going on because for weeks, I might have only gotten like one or two elite clues. But as of last month or two though, I've been getting elite clues normally again, so that really helped with this project. Yeah, I'm pretty convinced that Redwoods are fixed now at this point, because I've been getting elites like sometimes several times a day. I mean, there'll be days where I get nothing in a row, but I just got two today. What is going on, dude? They have three elites in like less than 12 hours woodcutting <laughs> it 
it's back, baby. The elites seems to be fixed or something. I'm excited to let you guys know that I have bigger video projects for YouTube in 2024, but big ambitions require proper meals to fuel it. So I will be kickstarting my 2024 with tasty, healthy, and convenient meals from HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. They have 45 plus dinner options by expert chefs. All their meals are centered on being healthy and affordable and covers a wide range of dietary lifestyles. All the food is also freshly prepared. All you have to do is pick your recipes and a delivery date, and you will be cooking some tasty meals without the grocery shopping hassle. They are now including breakfast for free with every meal kit box order, so you can start each day strong. I've prepared HelloFresh meals before and it is very simple. The instructions that come with the meal kits are super easy to understand, therefore making the meals are super easy yourself. Plus, I have fun cooking these meals and being able to taste my efforts within the hour is so satisfying. 2024 is the perfect time to upgrade your meals. Click the link in the description or use my code and get a free breakfast for life. One breakfast item per box while subscription is active. Anyways, let's show you guys some progress towards building that 100 Master Crew casket and then get right into the opening. Oh, no, I didn't mean to open it. Oops, that was supposed to be a stack, damn it. There's a common step where you have to catch a black warlock. Normally, you have to go to fill the hills, but honestly, I find it more convenient to actually catch a black warlock next to the farming guild because there is like an entrapped corner of the farming guild just outside where there is a black warlock guaranteed so it's super easy to do man annoying let me just log out <laughs> man oh my 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 client class though but i logged off already oh nice we got it sick so now i have 50 it's probably gonna take me like two months to get the next 50 Wait, do I even need the crystal ball anymore? Didn't they just make this work? Oh, it does. F bow counts. Dude, all right. In that case, I, I don't need this crystal ball. What the hell? There's apparently a bug right now that forces you to walk. I don't know about that. Okay, well, it doesn't affect me, but what the heck? That's weird, man. I'm just trying to reset my skull. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am now two thirds of the way to the 100 masters at 66. What? I just got. <laughs> Yo, that's sick. I just got back to back with the same stuff. <laughs> 77. Awesome. Over three quarters of the way to the goal. Dude, no way. I got a late clue for burr houses. <laughs> That's insanely rare, but uh, all good. I'll take it. If you guys are planning on doing a lot of clue scrolls like me, you definitely want to do some of the things that I recently improved upon logistics wise. I'll show you them right now. I have further refined my teleportation logistics so I can do my clues even faster. For the longest time, I have neglected to reobtain the skull scepter from the stronghold of security. A long while ago though, Jagex buffed the Skull Scepter so that you can imbue it, making it not break after using up its charges. And they also now allow you to gather extra Skull Pieces, which can then be turned into charges to charge the Scepter. So now you can stock up on Skull Pieces at one go, and then you don't have to constantly regrind for the charges. The Skull Scepter is really nice for clues because it lets you teleport to Barbarian Village, which hosts a lot of common clue steps for all types of clues. So these bottom scepters, I can't add it anymore because right now it is maxed out at 20 yeah, maximum charges. So I'll just have to keep them in the bank, basically. Uh, what I can do, though, is I can just break them down into these fragments, though. And then I can just add more as I need. So I feel like this is good. There you go, already useful, like I said, for those beginner clues, especially, goddamn. Another small upgrade I did was adding the Ape Atoll Dungeon Teleport to my Nexus in my house. 
it turned out to be the fastest way to reach Crash Island, as I do go there a lot for a few elite and master steps. This is like a sick telly here. Watch this. Apatol Dungeon. And then that gets you to pretty much either Crandor or no, sorry, Crash Island here with the boat or uh, some of the clues here. It's pretty, pretty nice. I recently learned that I had extra loading maps in my house and that is actually slowing down my loading in time and how i fixed this was i had to move pretty much all my rooms uh basically southwest and that got rid of those extra loading rooms and that minimized my loading time to the absolute fastest so four by four right in the middle but jagex also improved the house loading times recently so no matter how big or how many floors it has it should load really fast i don't know if that's still faster than what I have right now, but I for sure have the absolute fastest now. So I'm going to save a lot of time teleporting in my house because I go in my house way too much. Okay, I'm a believer. This definitely felt a teeny tiny bit faster. Man, it would have been nice to know that huh? when I was doing all my corpse now because I have so many thousands of corpse KC. We're almost done with the 100 masters, guys. This is um, 97, I want to say. Oh, 96. Holy shit, another elite clue. Actually, no, this is it, yeah. Watson has an elite already. Oh, nice, we did it. 100 caskets, basically. Once I finish this uh, last master. There it is. Holy shoot. Holy moly. I cannot believe I actually stacked 100 masters. I felt down myself. Honestly, because the best I've done before this was 50. All right. And uh, I wonder what was harder, just getting 100 elites? Uh, yeah, no, this is definitely harder because like, on top of getting 100 elites, I had to also just get uh, basically 300 other clues of easy, medium, hard, and then also doing them, which takes way longer. But yeah, it's freaking done. Holy shit. All right. After this stack, we're, we're done with stacking masters for some time, for sure. But I really hope we get something big. Maybe first ever third age or anything that I haven't gone would be freaking nice. Okay, let's go open the first one, guys. We're going to take it a little slow, you know, because right, we got to savor the moment. But yeah, first one. Number 100. All right, so we're starting off at 559. 559, right? So when we finish this, we're going to get to 658 or something 57 so let's talk about the collection log for the master clues section i've already done over 500 master clues before throughout the years and as a result i've gotten all of the easier uniques for masters this leaves me with the much more rare things like the kits for god swords the anku outfit pieces mummy outfit pieces gilded items and of course third age items the thing I want the most is definitely a third age item. In all of my runescape time on all my accounts since playing the game in 2005 and maybe touching my first heart clue in like 2006 or 7, I've never gotten a third age from clues. And I assure you, I've done many throughout the years, in the thousands. Definitely not enough to say I'm really dry, but definitely enough to say I had a good chance. Anyways, with master caskets though, you can get every tier of third age. If you didn't know, there's different tiers of third age. What I mean by that is, for example, hard clues can give you your standard third age. So like third age armor, like your melee range magic armor. Elite clues gives you everything the hard clues can give you in terms of third age and more. Such as the third age weapons and the third age cloak. And master clues can give you everything that the hard clue and the elite clues can give you and more. They also can give you an exclusive master tier list of third age, which is the third age tools like the third age pickaxe and things like the third age juretic set. So like the third age juretic top. The master third age tier list is definitely the most expensive items in the game. For example, third age pickaxe is the most expensive item in the game right now. It's like 8 bill plus yeah yeah that's crazy you can basically buy like all the important gear with just a third age pickaxe if you get it and you sell it anyways though i am not picky at all i've never gone third age like i said so i just want to get any of them so master clues 100 of them we got a shot 
Number 70. Oh, oh my god, what? Damn, look at this. Nine, dude, I just got the purple sweet three times in one clue. <laughs> Damn, that was crazy. A mil worth of purple sweets in one clue. Okay, now I've, I've never seen that before either. Yeah, farming guild. Okay, two people picked farming guild. Actually, let's go here instead. We go to the far, you know, to the fountain. But the leprechaun. Yeah, there we go. This guy. I'm literally next to the freaking leprechaun, bro. Oh, the leprechaun worked. Leprechaun RNG worked, guys. I got my uh, first mimic. A little bit late, but... Hell yeah, dude. If you don't know what a mimic is, I can get this mimic from either an elite casket or master casket. Master casket has a 1 in 15 chance to get a mimic. So that means 100 caskets, we're looking at like 6, 7 chances or something on average. If you kill the mimic, you have a 1 in 200 chance to get a third age. That's insane. So it's the single best way to get third age. Too bad you can't spam it. So you really gotta just look forward to this when you do get access to a mimic. But do do. Here we go. Oh man, 25 wines damage. Unfortunately. All right, 56. Oh, wait, oh, I already got this though. But damn, purple sweets too. Jeez, seven items. All right, man, we got recommended a secret bank spot right under what kind of guild? There's a dungeon here, if you didn't know, with ants. And there's like, yeah, this secret bank here. So we're going to open it a little bit here. I guess until Mimic. 53. Uh, I really hope this last 50 is the real ones, man. Like, we charging up for the real real thing here. Number 50. It's looking rough, but we keep going. 49. Oh, got a mimic. Got a mimic. All right, it's working, dude. The, the ants bank is certified, guys. Here we go. Damn, 600 deaths. Rip. Yeah, these mimics are just not, not so good. 47? 44? Oh. Oh, man. I got you baited, dude. Dang. That's crazy. I'm literally going to complete full samurai, dude. There it is. The, the second most quietest bank in the game. And I just made up that fake stat. So. All right. Here we go. Lens end time. We've had some good results here. So hopefully it'll pay off again. Oh, RCS hood? Dang, we already have that. I think we have all the hoods. I'm a hood bender. Two thirds, already over two thirds of the way done. Let's go. 30? Oh, wait, I have these. Oh, two uniques. Imagine getting two uniques when we already have them. We're, we're really coping here, but I'm I'm willing to believe, you yeah. know. All the superstitions, hit it up, hit it up. Jump for joy. Come on, here we go. Oh, man, what is this? Dude, come on. We're guessing which superstition works. Here we go. Oh, oh, shit, that one works. That's the secret, guys. You gotta lean on a table. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, I do have two in my bank, so that means I can exchange this last one. Damn, nice. 100 Watson screws. That's gonna be convenient for future stacking stuff. I really do like the duplicates master scroll books being given to Watson for the teleports really good for training and clues saves a bit of time nothing too overpowered I wonder if Jags would be interested in maybe letting us trade god pages and maybe extra dupe treasure clue rewards because you get a ton of like the same stuff all the time and they're not often used for anything right you're just putting them in the house or just selling it for a super low price so it'd be nice if we can get some extra uh, purple sweets or maybe Watson scrolls from those what do you think yeah, this is the bank that uh, got me the, whatchamacallit, the anguish kit, the last time I opened Masters. A doodle. Man, that's so bad, dude. 25 wins is in me. Oof. Oh, man, this hurts. This hurts, guys. We're over three quarters of the way done and did our third mimic, and it's just not looking good. It's not looking good. There you go, 21. Oh, man, dude. Oh, the Elder Gods, man. Fuck. Like, my anticipation is so high that anything could set me off at this point, but it's just trolling.
Oh my god, we actually got the occult again. Ah, that's so funny, dude. This is the second time I've gotten a cult here. I'm down for a dude, frick it. Nice, now we have two. <laughs> I think this might be the last time I stack masters, bro. Honestly, I, th I think we just need to focus on everything else but masters. Oh shit, I accidentally clicked two at the same time and they were both disappointing. Oh shit. Well, we're down to literally our last nine. We are in single digits mode. Single digits, and it's still. This is the last eight. All it takes is one. Yeah, if I can get one slot, bro. Whoa, you know. Honestly, number six. Damn it, dude. This is rough. Number five. Dude, it'd be nice to get at least one more mimic. Clutch it, clutch it. Number four. <gasps> oh my god! What? Yo! Oh no! But like, yo, that's that's good. That's still good. Holy shit! That's freaking crazy. No way. <laughs> that's so troll, but at the same time, okay. I mean, yeah, fuck yeah, dude. I actually got my first ever third age. <laughs> Holy shit, bro. Okay, maybe I'll stack more bastards, bro. I don't know. I don't know. You tell me, man. It came down to the last four, man. Oh my god. Yo, I actually got this last leagues, bro. No joke. I was like, mm, okay, well, that still doesn't count as the real deal. But okay, now we got the real deal. This is real. It exists. That's crazy. I can't believe I actually got it, though. I, I really wonder how many hards, elites, and masters I've done, though, collectively. To, to get to this point, I really wonder. I just have no way of really knowing, though, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, there it is. Look, look, look at that. We got our first one in here. Oh, my God. The third age necklace is actually a super interesting equipment because it has the highest magic accuracy in the entire game. It boasts an impressive 15 magic accuracy. Before the Occult Necklace came out, it was the undisputed best magic necklace in the game. Occult wins though because of the 10% magic damage, despite it having less accuracy than the Third Age Necklace. This necklace could actually end up being really useful to me in the future. It's gonna be a long shot that it would ever beat something like the Occult Necklace in the future, but the Occult Necklace is getting nerfed soon, and who knows what kind of new updates will come out. Maybe I need more accuracy than damage for certain mechanics for a boss, we'll see. All right, I know these three is nothing. 294k. All right, I lied. It's not terrible. But here we go. Yep. All right, Jax. I won 100 Master Clues, and we got our first ever Dirt Age, bro. I, I don't even care, dude. <laughs> As always, I have to upkeep the music and quest cave requirements for my clue scroll shenanigans and general teleporting. So I got to do this new quest that came out called The Child of the Sun which is the first quest in the Volumore region storyline. It is a pretty easy quest meant to introduce the Volumore region when it is out in late March, and it also explains that it's been closed off to the outside world until now. How convenient. This means big new Volumore arc in March. Look out for that. I think we're going to get a lot of these like political quests in, in Volumore, I guess, when, uh, when they release more of that stuff. Oh, that was easy. Okay, after quite a lot of dialogue, but um, that's sick. We now know Volamore politics and the government and stuff. They want to branch out and, you know, communicate with the outside world, aka us. Okay, until the Volamore release then. And we get to know a bit more about the Game of Thrones of RuneScape. Speaking of other upkeeps, I do need to unlock a new music track for my music cape. And that is from the area in... The new boss, Scurrius. It is a low level boss that just came out, and that segues into my visit to checking out this boss and learning more about it. So, this boss has a pet, which I will eventually go for in my quest to all boss pets. But for now, I just wanted to learn more about the boss, and here's some interesting things that you probably want to know. So, of course, this boss is easy. It's definitely perfect for new PVMers that want to learn some new mechanics like per flicking and dodging mechanics. If you don't like the AFK options like Sand Crabs or things like Nightmare Zone and you want something more active, this boss is perfect for you because it will give you actually a bit more XP prior than all of those options. 
With max gear scythe melee, I was able to get up to 108,000 experience an hour on a combat skill. But for, of course, the target audience who's going to have way lower stats and lower gear, it's probably close to like 100k an hour, which is still amazing and definitely better than what you're going to get elsewhere. The boss also drops the spine, which lets you make three different weapons covering all three styles. They're specifically meant to be used on this boss as it does bonus damage, meaning even more XP. The bow mace made using a root mace and the scurrious spine managed to get me 160k XP an hour with max gear, of course, and max stats. And it's only a level 50 attack weapon. And the spine is only a 1 in 33 drop rate, so pretty much anybody can get and make this pretty quick. Again, the XP is probably going to be like half of that for the target audience due to the gear and stat difference. Also, these rates are included trading in the spines because you will get a lot of spines which you can trade it in for extra combat or per experience. There's an NPC here by the entrance of Scurrius where you can trade in extra Scurrius spines for some combat XP. Uh, I would definitely recommend probably Prayer because you can actually get per XP, which is one of the more lucrative stuff, especially if you're like on an early account and you really just want to get your prayer up. I feel like that takes longer, but yeah, up to you. Whatever is more of a priority. But if you're not sure what to put on, I probably would just put on prayer. You get 3,500 for prayer, but for the other stats, though, you get way more like attack. It's 5,000. This boss also drops a lot of really good items, especially the alcohols and some really good potions that you probably can't make at low levels, like range potions. I can definitely see myself training at this boss on future accounts because it's such good XP and good cash to help that early PVM progression. Basically, for the cost and the XP that you get, this is some of the best uh, in the game at that level, for sure. It's one Chaos Rune, literally just one Chaos Rune, that's it, per hit. So that's insanely uh, e economical. I guess it'd be pretty nice, especially on Irons. If you are uh, trying to train your magic until you can reach like barrage levels, I guess. Alright, so I did the rough math. Assuming I do 40 kills an hour with this bow with max gear. Um, and I get 20% bonus XP. Including the, the minions. I'm getting around 136,000 range XP an hour with this bow. Wait, did I hit 300? Oh, damn. I can't believe it. I freaking hit 300 KC. Probably the only day that I'm going hard, though. So if you don't get the pet, it is what it is. Nope.